Hey, this is Buck Paladus. Thank you for joining me for episode 59 of my Rich Explorer playthrough. And you rejoin the colony just off the back of this, uh, well, pretty bad <laughs> mech attack, if I'm being quite honest. We came out on top, but honestly, I'm really not happy with the way the battle went. This was completely avoidable. And we lost Blass, and now my colonists have pretty much fought throughout the night. They're tired. May is just sleeping where she wants. Um, we don't have a bed for her. A lot of the beds got ruined in the fire. Um, a lot of the other beds are being taken up for people who are wounded. And honestly speaking, we need to get people back here uh, in order to uh, patch up to Cotmus, to be quite honest. So let's have a quick look. I've got to micromanage just a little bit, but I'm going to do that off camera. Um, what I intend to do this episode is basically get us a perimeter. I'm going to get people onto stone cutting. And I mean, honestly, one of those is not going to be enough. Let's get two going. I'm going to build another one of these as well. Uh, build copy. Um, let's just turn that around. I, think I believe I've got the, the bill set up. Yep, that's perfect. I'm going to do that same for this one. Oh, I can't do the bill yet. Um, and we're going to start cutting stone blocks and get a decent perimeter up. Because having wooden walls yesterday, I spent a lot of my time fighting fires. And, you know, the wooden walls were not taking any hits. They just collapse. That was a big problem. Mechs inside the base like this, unacceptable. I'm really not happy with the way it went yesterday. And it won't be happening again. Going to get my people back on their feet. Hopefully Randy will give me... A couple of days where um, it's going to be a little bit relaxed. I've got to deal with my mood at the moment. I don't have any soothe psychic soothers left. I will double check for that. I think the problem I've got at the moment is that these statues are causing a lot of wealth. So I am tempted to take them down just for now. Which is the wealth one? Yeah. There's quite a lot of wealth going on. I might take the statues out and, uh, I mean, items... Wealth. Can you remove these? I don't even think you can, can you? Okay, so wealth is the the golden one. Yeah, that's this one in the middle. Okay. Which is the, the highest thing of all, really. Okay. I'm going to have to... Um, I might uh, dismantle some of these statues. I don't need anything above kind of slightly or slightly impressive, really. As long as they're happy with here, then that's the main thing. Um, but yeah, there we go. All right, I'm going to clean this up and I'll be right back. Randy allowing, of course. Well, this ray is casting a very, very long shadow. You've got diseases galore. Um, burns attract diseases, especially when you're in somewhere like this, which is really not very clean. Um, yeah, we've got this to be inside again. Um, one of the guys has dug up Yumi's body. Corpse Obsession. It was Flanker, I believe it was. Yeah. And uh, we're putting her back in her box. Um, Scarborough has given up and he's going to leave the colony. I can't have that. We need you, mate. We put too much time and effort into you and you're like a key part of the colony. So we hastily put together a prisoner room and uh, Porcupine's going to grab Scurrabrit, 97%. Uh, okay, what's happened here? Scurrabrit has had a change of hearts coming back to the colony and he's refused to be arrested. Okay. I see. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure the chain events there. Uh, Porcupine looks like she's on her own. I'm not sure if she can beat Scarabrea. Let's have a quick look. Is anybody else able to help here? He was in decent shape. Well, nobody really. That was pretty mashed up. Bad mood. How about Diocus? Diocus is meditative. Diocus is heading that direction. Actually, Anthusa looks like she could help. Diocus is going to come as well. Uh, let's get up here. Porcupine do well with running away, I think. That's it. So Scarberry does have the speed advantage. And she's got a shield belt, so if he fires at her, it's no, no great big deal. Um, I'm going to have to melee attack him, I think, just to put him down. Alright, that's fine. Melee. Um, this is a Somewhat painful to do, but it is what it is. I'm not going to shoot at him. He's in no pain at all. Porcupine is a medium pain. Porcupine was going to go down before Scarabrea does. But two of them wailing on him, maybe. No, this is not looking very good at all. Um, I'll tell you what we could do. What have we got here? Word of trust. That's prisoner. Can we... I can stun... Berserk, Warp Skip, nothing there that can be used. Diocus. 
pain block. That could be quite useful actually. I can. What's the range on pain block? I should be able to do it. Maybe it's a, a view thing. I need to make sure that. Okay, perfect. Good. Good, good, good. It's only bruises and stuff. That's fine. Sorry, Scarborough. It's a little bit. A little bit embarrassing, I guess, but uh, let's rescue. We don't need to capture him. He's a member of our team still, so let's get him back in. You can go back to meditating, whatever you want to do. Thanks, Diocus, and thank you to Anthusia. All right, the torment continues. So Cobra's picked up a third infection. I'm not rating her chances. We don't have the medicine for it. Not really, because she's not the only one who's got infections. Uh, also, Zika has. Zika, sorry. Um, and who was the other one? Zika's Cobra. Somebody else. Maybe Scarabra. I don't know. That doesn't look like it. I thought it was the third one. Anyway, so um, it's not looking great for Cobra. I may have to amputate. Obviously, I can't amputate a head. That could be a little bit tricky. But yeah, we shall see. I'll keep an eye on this. And now Orc has an infection. This is not looking very good. I'm going to put Orc on the good stuff. And hopefully, if I manage it, then the Glitter World will give Orc enough of a head start on infection I can back her off, uh, back him off, sorry, onto less good medicine and we'll see how that goes. Okay, we are back on an even keel. Infections are done with, we've tied it up in here, we hooked back up the psychic emanator which had become unpowered, no real surprise. Um, we've tidied up um, the various rooms, we built machining tables just to start taking apart the centipede which do yield plasteel. Uh, we need to get a research table up, we're going to turn this into a hospital stroke prison. Here's a room for Isla because she's greedy and gets into a tantrum she doesn't have it. The moods are across the board are generally much better. We stopped having tantrums, we've moved all the rubbish over to here um, just to, well, just so it doesn't wreck my OCD too much. Um, so I think we're back on an even keel. Randy has been kind after the brutality of the past past few uh, few days. Um, Diocus has just gained another skill. Uh, he's got Wall Raise, which actually is relatively useful. I'm going to try Word of word of Love. I've never used this before. Um, as I said, I got convinced that this could be quite useful. I'm going to hook up um, I'm going to hook up Reese with Komnenos. And the reason Komnenos is because obviously Komnenos is sad about her dad. Um, so if I can offset this, then that would be quite useful. And I don't know how this works. Apparently you can do it on two different people, according to this. Um, for days, implants, for days, towards the other person. I don't know the mechanics of this. Let's give it a go. Word of love. Let's try it on Reese. I hope Reese isn't asleep. Where is Reese? Reese, where are you? Reese isn't asleep. Okay, so Diocus. Um, yep, it's that. Word of love. Reese. So, Psychic Love 4. Ah, okay. Komnenos. Is Komnenos sleeping? No, it doesn't have to be. Okay. So he's going to do that, and then let's see what happens. Where's Diocus? Is he inbound? Diocus is probably inbound somewhere. Oh, here he comes. He's chasing him down. Reese. I'm pretty sure. I've got a note here from, from uh, Komnenos. Pretty sure she loves you. Why do you have a word with her? Yeah, okay. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. So he's going to have a chat with Komnenos now. No, he's just implanted the thought. Okay. All right, well, we'll see how that turns out. That's, uh, that's actually quite interesting. Now, what I need to do is set Diox's schedule, actually. He needs to spend more time at the tree. Let's do a little before and uh, and after. So the people in green here, the meditators, the ones who really need to do, do go to the anima tree, and everyone else is, um, is not a natural focus, although having said that, I'm pretty sure Squirt is. Um, Flanker, I think, got it from the Empire, so he's not natural focus. Um, but everyone else, I think, is set up correctly by the looks of it. No, they haven't got actually any recreation set up at all. That's terrible. Um, also, no, that's the wrong place. Now, the other thing was, is that I have to hand it to Viana. Viana, once again, has kept this colony during the dark days on her feet. She may not be able to do violence, but the fact that she's quite unflappable and generally there and healing people and being the only one who hasn't broken is not to go unmentioned. So Viana, I do appreciate it. So one thing I've learned is that um, if you stick out loads of dead bodies near your base when it's freezing, then a lot of the wildlife will basically come over here, the ones that can, 
and eat it, which makes hunting very easy. I've got a bunch of pigs around here who've been tempted in by all the dead insect bodies and uh, yeah, super easy hunting. <laughs> Randy has seen fit to give me uh, 31 man hunting mufflos, which is kind of good timing really because not only can I sell their skin, but um, the meat comes at quite a good time. I don't have to go out hunting. I'm gonna have to build a bigger freezer though. So there is that. Anyway, I'm making, uh, making sure everybody's attending. We're going to use grenades here just because it's just a darn sight easier. Viana can go to the back, can act as a heat dump should it be necessary, but I don't think it will. Go here, Zekus, go there. Hicklin appears not to have a weapon. What weapon did Hicklin have? Pretty sure he had a decent melee weapon. Let's uh, let's just sort that out. Melee on the ground. Persona plasma sword. Hmm. Is that just the one I had kicking about? Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. I need to sell that, but nobody seems to want to buy Persona plasma swords for some reason. I don't know why. Which is interesting. Now, I'm pretty sure he didn't. Hicklin did not have one of those. I think Hicklin had. That's going to be picked up in a moment by Diocus. What weapon did Hicklin have? Plasteel longsword. I think it was a plasteel longsword, wasn't it? Okay, we need to sort you out, Hicklin. To have um, a weapon just as boring as a plasteel longsword, it's not, not great, is it? You go and grab that and then come back. All right, fine. Everybody else is going to. Mm, let's have a look at Savannah up front. Yep, lovely. Uh, Freckles is good with the grenades. He's good to go. Everyone's here. Let's move you up. Savannah to there. Colminos to there. Let's move you guys up. Lorenzo. Now, Lorenzo definitely had a normal sword. I'm actually wondering if he's picked up what Hicklin had. So we'll get, get him to pick up... Get Lorenzo to pick up a normal plasma sword. And then come back. Um, Hicklin's coming back, though, because there, Porcupine is not moving. Porcupine has just arrested Orc. That's right. I'm thinking Porcupine might sit this one out. She's not very happy. He, um, so, yeah, she's going to go to bed, is she? Cleaning trash and resting. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, that's Orcs. Now, Orc needs to be released, actually. So, let's, um, Dokus, could you pick up? Could you release Orc? And Orc can get his gun. And it's. Uh, Orc is going to pick up his gun and get back out here. Oops. That's cool. Go here and... Oh, they're coming. You can hear the hooves. Yep, that's fine. And Porcupine is resting. Diocus, actually, you're not meditating anything, mate. You're going to come down here. Okay, cool. Right. Let's get on. Let's get there with the dynamite. Uh, dynamite. Grenades. Okay, so it's, the grenades have got a built-in one spot miss radius. So we're going to go there. I'm tempted to move Freckles a bit closer. I don't want her to be sticking to the walls here. That would be quite bad. Okay, here we go then. I don't think it's going to last very long. Let's um, let's throw in some goodies though, just to, just for good measure. Um, Orc is there. We're going to set out a lighting pulse. Yeah, perfect. It didn't seem to happen. There's no heat build up. That's because I did it to an actual muffalo rather than the ground itself. I may have hit some of my own, <laughs> my own team. Come on, that's okay. Is Cobra getting bashed up here? I hope he's not getting too bruised. Okay. We're in zone hicking just here for good measure. What else can we do with some of the spells? Let's have a quick look. What have we got? What have we got? Squirt. Focus Beck and Burden. Skip Shield. Uh, me. Enthusia. Randolph. Don't mean to do anything with Randolph. Scarabre. What's Scarabre got? Skip. Should we skip one of them inside, just for some some giggles? There we go. Attack. Mr. Hicklin. Lorenzo. Sweet. Scarborough, that was, that was a good laugh. Let's do that again. Mm, do you know what? No, I'm going to save your side focus. You've, you're the most important one, because you've got fast skip. And I don't want to waste that, because fast skip we're going to use. We're going to go and raid an Empire base very shortly, I think. So let's not waste, uh, let's not waste that too much. Move up. Lots of little kind of... Scarborough's pit, it's time to go off on a food binge. Alright mate, that's fine. Ooh, all this killing's made me peckish. 
Okay, let's just make sure nobody's on the good medicine because frankly we don't have any. <laughs> Need to start start growing it again. And uh, okay, everyone can go. Fantastic. Good job, everybody. Lots of uh, lots of dead things. These are mostly going to bleed out, aren't they? Everyone's got absolutely lacerated. Okay, we'll come back and sort that out later on. Meanwhile, back to the grind. So Diacus has once again leveled up the animatory and he has got fast skip. <laughs> that is amazing. That is going to make life considerably quicker and easier. Now we have two pawns with fast skip. It's going to just make me a lot more flexible with how to uh, execute the campaign moving forward. That's going to be fantastic. So good job, Dokus. Dokus and Scarabrea are going to be the two main people in terms of our logistics and transportation. So that's fantastic news. I'm well chuffed with that. Good job, Dokus. Well, I did say I will get Yumi back almost under any circumstances. And we have the opportunity. We have a quest. Three Resurrector Mech Serums. The downside is that they want me to guard somebody called Trout for 24 days. Bad news is that they are going to give us two mech clusters of double size. And, um, oh, they're going to give me two archers. <laughs> That's really good of them. Two archers. Thanks for that. That's amazing. Oh, boy. Okay, well, I'm going to do it. Now, do we get these up front or at the end? We don't know. We shall see. And the other question is, do I want to bring Blast back? Viana, not being violent, but she's been super useful, as I've just mentioned. Blast... I only really took Blast on because he was Comlinus's dad. I wouldn't have taken him in otherwise. I don't know. Answer's on a postcard. See what you think. All right, well, I said I'd do this. I want Yumi back. <laughs> oh, two times size is terrible. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll accept it in a second. Let me just zoom out so you can see what I've done. So we have um, a perimeter now. Um, Mr. Mr. Bit of Wooden Wall there by the looks of it. Um, oh, hang on. Ah, I see it's got marsh below it, so I'm going to have to stick with that by the looks of it. What I will do, I'm going to... Hang on, just have a quick... Okay, yeah, that's fine. What I'll do is I'll just stick that in there instead. So if the wall goes, the, the integrity is still there. Right, um, and I've built effectively a kill box here. And we can defend it here. This corner needs to be a little bit fixed. This is not ideal. People standing here won't be able to necessarily get a good view. However... What I'll do, I'll then build a second kill box here. So if you have to fall back, we can fall back to this. And then again, they've got to go across marsh. So this actually could be quite useful. There's a spot here where they can uh, come around and then shoot into the back of them if necessary. Again, they, this is pretty well defended. Um, so that's where we are. So I'm feeling a lot more defensively happy. We've got um, chem fuel created. We're going to set up some drop pods and um, we're going to start raiding bases. So this one we can hit. Maybe that one. I think we can hit that one. This one is probably a bit too far. We'll see. I need to get some drop pods set up. I haven't counted. I think that may be the extreme range. We can certainly hit those three, not that one. But what I'll do is I will send, probably like I did before, I'll send a, a contingent out to hit this lot while we go north. And so they can just fast skip straight to the caravan up here and then we can take these three. Hmm, we shall see. It's going to be interesting. Anyway, let's focus on the quest. I'm going to accept the quest now. Pray for my soul. <sighs> right, so the pods have arrived. All right, Zabori. Now Zabori is the one that we're looking after and um, Zabori won't do anything. Zabori is a night owl, so let's put her on the night owl schedule just to make sure that she's kind of doing her thing. And we'll make sure Zabori gets some recreation. Actually, she's going to be she's going to need to meditate, isn't she? Not that I particularly care. She's going to be actually no use to me whatsoever. But we've got um, two archers who also. Oh right, great! Creepy breathing, jealous psychopath. <laughs> They've sent me the quality troops. Wow. Well, they can't do a thing, can they? They're absolutely useless. Darn. That's pretty poor. Okay. Hmm. Can I can I swap them out a weapon? Are they? Yeah. So they, we can change it. Twelve percent. 
<laughs> That's awful. It must have been what the guys came up dropped when they came around here. Okay, um, that's not ideal. I will be arming with something else other than bows and arrows because obviously it's another two pairs of hands, which is great. I'm not going to be particularly caring about their welfare though. All right, fine. Now, um, the the stuff didn't arrive, did it? Okay, so we have to kill the... T hmm. No, I, I see. So we have to basically look after them for 24 days before we get the the goods. All right, they will deploy nearby. Well, they'll be arriving any second now. Uh, these blue guys here is a bulk goods trader that just dropped. We got some bits and pieces from them. I do need more shock and uh, insanity lances. Weren't they interested in buying my plasteel? Let me just double check that. I, I might have missed that they were going to buy plasteel. I've got an awful lot of plasteel kicking about. I don't think they were interested, but bulk goods would indicate that they did. No, they're not buying plasteel. Okay, fair enough. Ah, oh, more mechs. More mechs. Relaxing socially. Yeah, I'll turn it off as a gather spot. This is just for them to eat undercover if they've uh, been uh, doing their thing at the anima tree. Otherwise they get uh, didn't eat a table debuff, but that's fine. Alright. Well, the mechs will arrive. I'll be back. So I've not managed to work my magic yet and get uh, Reese and Kalminos to fall in love with each other, but I think I understand how it works now. If you go to Kalminos and look at her health, it says she has psychic love for Reese three days. I think it means three days left, which is good news. So if I look at Reese, Reese does not appear to re return the favour. In fact, Reese's opinion of Kalminos is not amazing because she's disfigured. I mean, she's lost an ear. It's no, it's no big deal, frankly. So I'm going to get Diochus to wave his, uh, his love wand oh dear that sounds bad his love magic <laughs> and we're going to try and focus on reese now to get reese to psychic psychic love for Komninos. Oink. all right let's see how it goes now reese is being hunted by a bear here oh and there's a mad rat as well okay just to add to the mix coming from the uh, the northeast well, we need to get people outside now, so hopefully not Diocus. Diocus is not involved with this. Let's get them all outside. Got to take the bear down. What's Reese doing exactly? Cleaning dirt. Right, Reese, you can be involved with this too, seeing as the bear wants to eat you. Savannah's come outside with that weapon. That's because Savannah should be picking up her weapon, which was... Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Right, you guys, Reese, start shooting. Hicklin, start shooting. Diocus is like, oh dear. <laughs> well, then Diocus, you can get stuck in as well. And in fact, no, I want you to do the thing with Reese. So that's fine. Uh, Lorenzo Porcupine can come down. Porcupine's probably going to stun Blinding Pulse. Would work. Sweet. Good job, everybody. Right, everyone can go. Everybody can go. Apart from Reese. Okay. Psychic love for Komninos. Oh yeah. The love doctor is leaving the house. So let's see how that goes with Reese then. And hopefully we'll have some good news next time I, uh, I pop up. Uh, this makes me laugh. So um, <laughs> Termite, one of the new guys that we're looking after, or girls should I say, and, uh, and Hicklin were busily trying to kill this rat. Not doing a particularly good job of it, if I'm being honest. I mean, Hicklin really should know better. Meanwhile, as I zoomed in here, the shot comes through the door, past them, and just kills the rat stone dead. And May's like, don't worry, guys, I got this. <laughs> good job, May, with your 17 shooting. Well, as we expected, the first of the double-sized mechanoids clusters has arrived. Now, it's all extremely dormant. There's an awful lot of these assemblers capsules and mech drop beacons in fact uh, there is six mech drop beacons now i would have left this alone this is completely out of the way and i can very easily ignore this apart from the fact it has an auto mortar this thing regardless of whether the rest of it is dormant is going to fire so that means i have to go down and i have to basically wake this up which I don't really want to do, but we have got the ability to defend now. We'll do what we can from here. Um, although, to be honest, this again, this defense isn't really designed for mechs. This is designed for humans. The mechs, we're going to defend here. 
But what I need to do, I need to take this mortar out with extreme prejudice. So, the plan is either I can use the triple rocket launcher, which could work. This could work. Now, it does, does it do heat damage. I don't know. I need to look, look that up. Anyway. It's got really good range. So I could get something invisible down here. Stand here. Go blick, blick, blick. And it will just... It should take this out. Now, there don't appear to be any power sources here, which is a shame. Mechtrop beacon, proximity activator, gloom light, which is a shame. Or option two is I come down with some grenades. Uh, somebody with grenades and a jump pack. Get somebody to invisibilize them. They come over to here while invisible. Grenade, grenade, grenade. Jump back and GTFO. How practical that is is a different story, but that's one way you can do it. Both the sidecaster who's invisible and the person doing the grenading, or the two people doing the grenading, could have jetpacks. So after we've woken them up, we just kind of jump, 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 jump to safety. Make sure these doors are open. All the all the baddies root up through here, and we just go at it in this doorway. So I can defend from that. That's not a problem. But this has to be taken out with great prejudice. Alright. It's taken a while to arrive though, which is quite interesting, because the people, I mean, I think the quest was 24 days, so seven days have gone by before the first mech cluster arrived. Now I'm hoping the other mech cluster will be also far away and not have a mortar. But this is doable. Sorry, mortar. So I think the triple rocket launch will do quite nicely. Hopefully it'll do some collateral damage and blow up some other stuff, which will be very welcome. But the range of the, of the mortar, sorry, of the um, one more. Oh, the triple rocket launcher, as I seem to remember, it's quite good, quite a decent distance. Where are we? Range 36, which isn't bad really if you think about it. So if you look and go to planning and go to 36, I mean that's pretty decent. Invisible, jump pack, shoot, scoot out of there. I think that works. That'll work very nicely. They're going to call down an awful lot, but we can do it. And these turrets can just sit here and do their thing, quite frankly. And I'll, I'll come back and deal with the turrets later. Turrets are never that much of a big deal. Okay, well that's what we're going to do. I think we've run out of time for this episode, but certainly this episode was getting us back on our feet. We've got a perimeter that we can call a perimeter. Um, it's not perfect, but it'll work. Zogus is just finishing his um, anima tree linking to get up to level 6. We'll see what he gets. And we're going to go to war again with more mechs. So yeah, there we go. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. You take care of yourself over the next 24. I'll catch you on the next one. This is Buck, pulling the plug.